Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do a quick reading for you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into this Aquarius. Thank you God for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so Aquarius, what I got for you, uh, Firstly, it was the sun, okay? Uh, the sun card talks about, it talks about good fortune, happiness, joy, uh, the universe blessing you. Um, the universe is agreeing with your path, um, aiding you also into forward movement, into something bigger, better, greater than you. Then also at the bottom of the deck was your card, the star card, which also talks about um, renewal, vitality, uh, inspiration, good health, hope. Um, could even talk about astronomy, astrology too. Look and see where you know what is in your eleventh eleventh house. Um, let's see where the the uh, planets are aligning for you. Where there's a trine, you know, where there is you know a conjunction, because it looks like good fortune is with you at this present time, Aquarius. Things are uh, coming together for you. Um, there's renewed hope here. Um, it also talks about truly being blessed by the universe, um, at this present time. So I feel like saying at this present time, because it's something that you guys need to take hold of. You need to do at this present time. You need to move. You need to, you need to act on something. Um, you need to be a part of something. So let's see what that something is Aquarius. Let's see what, um, you should be doing thus far. Uh, let's go ahead and get the deck. Let's see what's going on here. Um, I don't know. He's got like some real blessings, some big blessings coming to you. Ooh, they could be coming to you rather quickly. The Eight of Wands showing up. Um, things are coming to a, con a conclusion. So something is ending for you. You know, maybe a tough way of existing, of living. Um, your living situation also. Um yeah, a lot is uh, going to transpire for you, Aquarius. Let's see, um, let me grab one thing. Okay, hang on, Aquarius. All right, and uh, we are back. So Aquarius, let's see, um, let's clarify the sun. Also the sun can talk about material harvest or a material happiness. So something that's gonna materialize for you is going to manifest for you. Uh, okay, we have the seven of wands, we have the chariot, we have the two of pentacles. So it looks like um, with the sun card, um, there's something you've been working on. You've been working on uh, pretty diligently. Um, you've taken some minority position about maybe your life and what you're doing, maybe in your business or what you do for work or maybe in your relationship. You've cut off some things. You've kind of isolated yourself and stayed busy so that you can have progression, forward movement, maybe into a new positive direction so that you could achieve something. So this would be like the equivalent of Maybe I need to cut off some, some different people, cut out going to some different places so that I can focus, so that I can have focused direction because the chariot again talks about um, astronomy, astrology. It's like something is happening in, in the, it is the age of Aquarius, but something is definitely happening for a group of Aquarius uh, people that they need to take advantage of this time because you have, you have the universe blessing upon you right now and maybe even the universe started to remove people or put you in a place of isolation uh, maybe even put you in a place of where you felt like you were by yourself you had to stand alone you had to defend yourself you had to just defend your position defend what you were doing people didn't understand it people didn't know where you were going um people definitely people didn't know what you were doing there was a lot of talk around you something had a destructive influence on you and it was removed or you removed yourself it could have been a cancer person leo uh, leo again it could have been anyone it could have been another aquarius if you want to get into signs but it could be anyone anyone that was 
destructive in nature, destructive in, in terms of, um, you achieving things. If they came into your life and they took away from, they did not add value to, uh, what it is you were uh, doing, what you're, you, what you were trying to do, what you were trying to institute. If you were trying to be sober, they came into your life and they were drinking and they were drugging and they were partying. If you were trying to rebuild your finances, they always wanted to go here and go there and spend money on this and do that and do that. And they were wondering, what were you going to do? And looking at your finances and maybe even just kind of, if not purposely, they were just in terms of their energy, they were um, destructive. They were destructive to where the universe was trying to take you. The two of pentacles also, yeah. Because it looks like the universe is trying to put you in a place of change, okay? And the change had everything to do with how you were going to show up on an everyday basis, your work ethic, uh, day in, day out. Um, the Two of Pentacles talks about what you do now, and the Two of Pentacles will show up. And the Four of Pentacles, hopefully, you'll have some stability, something to grow, something to show also. Um, so it was like the universe maybe molding you, and then there was somebody, something that was kind of... Um, it was an added value. It was not constructive. It was destructive. Okay. Um, and now you're in a place where the universe is happy to see that you are where you are and you have the universe's blessing. And they're also is aiding you, assisting you in moving forward. Um, it looks like something was removed out of your life or there was like a barrier put around you. Some of you also are doing prayers. You're doing different affirmations, rituals to keep negativity away from you with the seven of wands. Maybe you knew that somebody was doing spell work or um, maybe just um, casting you the evil eye or ill wishes, just people wishing ill upon you. Um, you knew that this was going on. Therefore, um, you did the work. You did the spiritual work to um, maintain, not even to maintain, but to make sure that this or those people, those spells, those incantations, those curses, those ill wishes did not take any effect. And they did not on you because you have the chariot showing up. And you also have the blessing of the universe. Let's clarify the star card. What is the star card? Okay, what is the star card? What is the star card? Okay, there we are. Wow, the ten of pentacles, Aquarius. So the star card is the ten of pentacles. This is... This is miraculous altogether. Um, it says that your hopes, wishes, dreams uh, will be fulfilled. Wow. The Ten of Pentacles, it will be fulfilled um, monetarily. Also, it will be fulfilled in terms of maybe a marriage. You could marry into money because I'm seeing the lovers at the bottom of the deck. It will be fulfilled in terms of um now there will be a transference of wealth. Your wealth is coming from something else, somebody else. It was laid up in the hands of the wicked, of, of the unrighteous, and now it will be, uh, it will now be in the hands of the righteous. So if you know that you've been doing the right thing, if you have been living right, if you've just been trying to be positive, if that is the motive you always have in everything that you do, in every way, uh, you know, in every way of life, then know that this is for you. If you are negative, if you are pessimistic, if you are not, um, you know, positive, if you do not do the prayers, the affirmations, if you have not done the work, if you do not have a good work ethic, if you don't know where you're going, if you don't know what you're doing, if you're wondering, this might not be the reading for you. That doesn't mean that you can't ever get here, but let's be practical, guys. And that's why... Um, a, a lot of times I like to pull the moonology cards because I love that one card they had to say, you have to balance spirituality with practicality. You can't just be one, you know, one way. You can't be so spiritual that you're not being practical, you know, where you're, you're praying and hoping and manifesting, but then you lounge all day. You do nothing. You, you want a new business, but you don't even know what type of business you want to open. You don't research. You don't learn. You don't gain any knowledge. You don't do anything that you're supposed to do that you should be doing. Always remember that it is for us to do the possible. It is for God to do the impossible, okay? And God can be whatever and whoever you want it to be to you. But it's not for him to um, download the knowledge into your head. That is just outright laziness. You have to be practical. Okay, so you have to have a plan, a course of action you want to take. And you ask the universe to bless you in this. And if they see course correction, if they want to correct you, they will. Uh, they will show you where you're supposed to be. But I just really want to harp on the fact that, you know, some of us, everybody's not here. In this reading, because this reading is really good. Um, and that's okay. It doesn't mean that you won't ever get there. 
or you you can't be here but you know if you're here or not you know if you've done the work and if you haven't just get busy okay get busy doing what you can do what you should be doing all right so the star card and the ten of pentacles some of you are going to be really um walking in your destiny it's a long-term goal uh achievement fulfillment something about your expertise or being an expert in something it's like you're going to get recognition okay um for whatever it is you do maybe on a larger platform via the internet because it's the star card the 11 the 11th house governs uh technology and large groups of people so it's like you are going to if you have a platform it looks like um you're going to see a lot of money from that you're also going to see a lot of prestige um a lot of recognition um you're going to see renowned is what i just heard um it could be world renowned uh the ten of pentacles talks about um building an empire happy organized people build empire so we know we want to be firstly happy then we want to be organized how can you be organized when you don't know what you're doing? When it's, I want to start a business. I, this is one thing I hear a lot. I want to start a business. Okay, well, what kind of start business do you want to start? I don't know. Okay, well, then come back when you want, when you know, you know, that it, it doesn't work like that. You know, go and talk to somebody who has a business, who runs a successful one, whether big or small. And tell, ask them, did they know that they wanted to open this business? The the answer will probably be shocking to some of you who just don't know where you're going with business. And everybody, you know, opening business, um, enterprise, and all this large, uh, you know, being larger than life. This is a new age thing. You know, we can't have so many chiefs running around here and not enough Indians, okay? And it doesn't mean that because you don't have a business and you're not um, successful in business, you're not a financier, you're not this, you, that you're not valuable, that what you do doesn't matter, that you can't have a fulfilling life. No, it just means that that wasn't for you. That's not your calling. Therefore, when you find yourself not knowing what you want to do, not knowing what kind of business you want, but knowing that you want a business, something is off there. and you It's for you to examine this. I don't know why I'm harping on this because I never really do. But I guess, you know, I'm letting spirit use me. Somebody needs to hear it. Um, yeah, some of you could be marrying into money. It could be inheritance here, Aquarius. Some of you have manifested large sums of money. That was your manifestation. That was your affirmation to the universe. You also were doing the work. You were putting yourself in a place where uh, that large sum of money could come to you, whether it was via business, career, um, selling something, uh, starting something new. But it looks like everything is aligning, okay, for you. you you're in direct align, um, alignment. With the lovers at the bottom of the deck, this could be a life-altering choice, okay? Um, someone could be choosing you. Maybe there was a relationship where somebody came in the middle of you and someone else. Your relationship was destined. The, the destiny was in the meeting, okay? So you met this person, and then destiny stopped, because you still have free will. So the destiny was in the meeting, the person you met them and then God, spirit, angels, ancestors, whatever you want to believe in took their hands off because now you and your person have free will to do whatever you have free will to reject this person, to accept them, to do whatever. Um, but the destiny was in the meeting. So it was like the angel, cause typically in the right or wait, the angel is blessing, um, the man and the woman with the, um, opportune meeting, the destined meeting, um, also with the lover's card, it's like, um, a lot of times the feminine energy can see that this relationship or this opportunity, cause this could be opportunity too, um, is destiny. It was destined. Um, it was blessed and ordained, uh, by the universe, it, but the man or the masculine energy is looking at the woman. The woman is looking at the angels. Therefore, um, the order of operation is the woman understanding the spiritual component of the relationship and the man looking at the physical, knowing that he likes how the woman looks. He likes the sex. He likes the, the, the physicality of it. He likes the sensuality of it, of the relationship. It's going to take some time for the masculine energy to understand also what the destiny, 
how this this relationship, this meeting, this person, this woman, or just feminine energy, because it could be same sex, um, meeting this person is destined. It is destiny, okay? So it's going to take some time for the masculine energy to rest in that. Also, sometimes this card talks about maybe the woman being the conductor of, of spirituality so that she can share this man or this masculine energy, uh, show him the way to spirituality, to understanding that in life, everything has a spiritual component, not just physical one. So the, the lover's card is, is, uh, you know, it's got so many different meanings, layered meanings all together. Um, so, and it also talks about marriage too. So does the 10 of pentacles. So does the sun card. Cause the sun card talks about a new person coming into your life, bringing them out of happiness and contentment. Um, this is really good, uh, Aquarius, uh, the lovers here also, it also talks about a relationship. I don't know if I said that relationship going well. And then the monkey wrench, which is another person shows up and, and drives the wedge between you and your person. And therefore that causes the choice. And this card used to be named the choice. Okay. Because there is a choice here that someone has to make. Um, also, this is a very balanced relationship, too. It's like balance, harmony. Um, there's a lot of chemistry here between you and someone else. Or if this is an opportunity, there's a lot of chemistry in terms of the opportunity. It just fits you. It marries you on a soul level, also in terms of a person. So this is really good. Let's see uh, what Spirit wants to tell the Aquarius finishing up this reading. Okay. Wow. Okay, the Eight of Pentacles. You got money, money, money all over this this reading, Aquarius. Um, you go from the Two of Pentacles, learning your work ethic, learning, balancing out your money. You know, transferring money, trying to find you know profit and loss in two different things you were doing, trying to make something work. Two maybe two different things. Um, defining yourself, divided. Okay, um, you you go from Two of Pentacles to Ten of Pentacles to Eight of Pentacles. Um. Wash, rinse, repeat. The Eight of Pentacles can always can sometimes talk about um, marriage and uh, travel later in life, though. So this wouldn't be a young person. This would be maybe uh, we'll give thirty and up, maybe even thirty-five and up. Um, but you know, just to be gracious, we'll say thirty and up. This is somebody who is marrying later in life. So this would be somebody who is not necessarily a babe. Um, uh, you know, and this would be someone who has some life experience. Um, the eight of pentacles can also talk about doing something over and over again. Some of you have business, like a, a physical business that you're trying to get off the ground. Um, you want to get it to some self sustaining energy where you don't have to work as hard, where you're not overworked, where you're not, cause this is the uh, workaholic, workaholic card. Also, this is learning something too. This is perfecting your craft. How do you perfect something? You do it what? Over and over again. So it's like you doing something over and over again. Um, how do you learn work ethic? You do it over and over again. People who have poor work ethics, they don't get up early enough to get to work on time. They don't show up. They call out. They don't do anything over and over again. They do it once, twice, and maybe they're they're out of the door they're fired or they're resigning or they're moving on or they're always changing or they're either no. So, um, but this is somebody who's dedicated to, um, seeing something through prudence, uh, perseverance, um, the budding entrepreneur also, um, somebody who's trying to um, get something off the ground. They understand and, and money is coming in also. Um, but this is, this would also be someone who is saving. So you're being prudent with your money. You have money, but you're watching where it goes and what you spend on. Um, you're also trying to, um, make sure you can open, you know, have another stream of income here. It's open. So I don't know if you're trying to open something or open an account or open, I don't know. Some of you also could be investing. Maybe that's what you're going to do. Open a, you know, um, an investment account, um, the eight of pentacles, very good energy in love. It seems as if you have been over and over something, um, over and you've been in the same relationship over and over different face. Okay. You've been finding that you've been dealing with the same situation. Um, maybe, um, with the eight of pentacles also, you're finding that it's, it's something is being lost. 
because it talks some of the times it talks about something being lost okay some of you are listening to something over and over again it could be tarot card readings i don't know i'm picking that up eight of pentacles also talks about a relationship where you've given a lot of chances something over and over it's a cycle it's cyclical you and this person or you and these types of relationship you cycle in and out it goes well and then you leave and then you come back and then you leave and then you come back you know it's, it's and it's a never-ending cycle it's never really turning over into anything it looks like though some of you are going to meet somebody new or um this could be someone from your past i don't see a lot of past energy you got the magician at the bottom of the deck there this is aquarius this is a good reading wow more money seven of pentacles aquarius um i don't know what you did how you did it some of you were doing ritual prayer manifestations over and over again you were using your words the magician governs language so you were you were saying something you were taking the power in your own hands you had ideas um and you wanted them to come to fruition uh, you were doing your work and you were allowing spirit to do their work. Wow. It was like you, you per, I, if I don't, if the empress, excuse me, the high priestess comes out, Aquarius. Wow. This is uh, remarkable for some of you who definitely were showing up for yourself. Let's see. Six of sword. All right. Very nice. Um, rest. There's a time for rest here. It will come a time of rest. Some of you also, this was, you just can't even get any better than this. The four of wands at the bottom of the deck. You know, let me just put these cards down. It's just Aquarius. I don't know what you've done. It's, it's marvelous, darling. Um, you got yourself out of a tough space with the six of swords. Some heartbreak, some turbulent situation, some love affair took you to a real dark place. Okay. Um, somebody played with your heart, with your head. They were careless with your heart and with, you know, your mind. They played mind games. It was trickery. They were out for themselves. They had a very self aggression. You know, they were aggressive in getting what they wanted. They would say anything, they would do anything, they would show up in any co any capacity. There was an ulterior motive in dealing with this person. This could be you, Aquarius. Um if it is not you, then, you know, place place this where it goes. But you could be dealing with a water sign too, maybe even Pisces or Cancer. Maybe Scorpio. I never see Scorpio in the moon. But it it can be. Um, look, dealing with this person took you to a place of, um, okay, I just heard, um, what is that? Is that the staple singers? I don't know. Um, I'll take you there. Yeah. Uh, so I don't know, Aquarius, you're moving on from heartbreak, heartache, problems, tr trouble, drama, some situation where it was tough, you know, um, somebody put you in a bad place. Okay. And it looks like you took all of that horribleness and you just said, you know, I'm just going to focus on me, maybe focus on my, my career and what I have to offer to the world and what the world has to offer to me. I'm going to walk in my destiny and my purpose. I don't know. It's like somebody set you up to walking into your purpose. I feel like they're coming back. They want to have a reunion with the four of wands here. They want to come back. Um, they want to, some of you, your, your self-esteem is going to be so high, so high just because of all of this goodness coming into you. Um, you're going to get the green light on something also, the go ahead. Um, you're going to be at a place where you're just going to feel very abundant, joyous. Maybe even, you might even treat your loved ones out, take them out, do something nice for them. Um, you, some of you could be getting a new home, of course, with the Four of Wands. You could be remodel, remodeling, redecorating, um, doing something over. This is also talks about reunion, possibly. Uh, some of you could be getting married, eloping, a marriage coming up again, the Four of Wands. 
Ten of Pentacles, the Lovers, and the Sun card. Um, phew, a, a, the Eight of Pentacles, marriage later in life. Um, Aquarius, I think you have manifested it all, love and money. This is remarkable. What we're going to do in the extended is see um, who this new love person is, okay? Uh, we're also going to talk about maybe if there's somebody coming back and if you should trust this person. It looks like your energy alone, Aquarius, is really good. You're doing what you're supposed to be doing in terms of, you know, um, just your life purpose, uh, working with the divine to bring about what it is you want. Um, but we'll see if you should trust a person coming from the past. We'll talk about a new person if there is one and maybe what they have to offer. And, uh, then we'll get some closing messages, some advice from the spirit from universe spirit. So if you want to, um, you know, get the uh, extended, the link is below the extended is, um, less than $5, $5, um, take advantage of that guys. Uh, especially if you cannot get a full reading. Um, thank you for being here again. All links are below. If you want to get your own personal reading, um, what else you can donate to the channel? If you took something from this reading, you could give back. You could, uh, buy me a coffee, click the link, buy L a coffee. You can find me here every Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday nights, 9 30 PM Eastern standard time. Um, where I am live, I'm asked answering questions. I am doing a collective reading. Um, come check me out live. Um, thank you guys. Many blessings to you. Take care.